Welcome back to the channel guys. So today I'm making a tutorial on how to take out your first rush effectively. And today what I'm going to be showing you guys is some different techniques on doing this. And at the end of the video I will be showing you one of my favorite techniques that works almost every time. It is almost 100% guarantee. And before you click off the video, please just watch to the end because I need 4,000 public watch hours. I already got 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. But I do need 4,000 public watch hours to get monetized on YouTube, and I've been working very hard on that. So if you could, just please watch the end of the video, and then check out my channel and watch any other videos that you uh, want to watch. So feel free to do that. Uh, enough of me talking. Let's get on to the video. First up, when you spawn in, you want to place all your gold right there. And what you want to do is you want to get 16 iron, enough to get 64 pieces of wool. Then what you want to do is you want to locate your first rush. Typically, they're on the right or left of you, or they're straight forward into the left. So you want to find your first rush, and then you want to bridge up one stacking till you reach about 10 to 20 blocks high. And then you want to bridge over above the other person's base. Typically, I like to jump onto their base. It makes it easier, and then I can jump down, and you want to hit them into the void if they're outside, or get their attention to get them outside, break their bed. And then what you want to do is you want to wait for them. Uh, sometimes I like to place wool like that so I can uh, do a little trick where they try and run around and I hit them into the void. But if they don't, it's fine. So you jump down and then you try and kill them. If you don't get them the first time, that's fine. You can go back and try and get them the second time. Uh, here what I'm doing is this is going to be a bed trade. And what this is, if you and your opponent both trade beds, and it doesn't work out that well, but actually I did end up getting him a final kill. So there I jumped into the void and it did not really work. Uh, I was a little too slow because he broke my bed just before I respawned. But I did end up killing him, so it was fine. Alright, here's the thing that I like to use. is Before I even rush, what I like to do is I like to get four gold, and the reason why I get four gold is because I get a TNT. And rushing with a TNT, it feels like to me, it almost always guarantees that I break the opponent's bed. Because they could have in stone, clay, wool, whatever they want on their bed, and the TNT will just blow it up. And so here's what I do is I normally bridge up, and I like to go really high so they don't uh, like jump up or hit me or anything. And then as soon as it's about to explode, jump down, break the bed, and then you're probably going to die from the fall damage or explosion. And what you do is you kill them. Here, uh, the guy came after me, and I managed to kill him. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys for watching to the end. Uh, please subscribe.